Well, hello and welcome to the fourth in my series on frequency density and probability. Uh, this is an IGCSE uh, high tier mass uh, question and therefore suitable for GCSE as well. Okay, now here's the question. And for the first part, we are asked to find the number of students who took part in the survey. So now I'm going to do this by two methods now. Uh, so don't forget this is a revision exercise. I'm not I'm not asking a question per se. So I'm going to take a bit longer than you do in an accurate exam question. Now for this section, I'm going to be using two methods. It's up to you which method you use. Now what I've done is to uh, delineate this uh, things into unit uh, unit area so that's one that's one unit area and that's one unit area so one unit area is, is five point five by five of this small uh, area uh, uh, squares there okay so for this section we know that got we are told that there are 35 students who travel to school between 30 and 40 uh, minutes there so in this section there are four one for 14 uh, unit areas so if you divide 14 if you divide 35 by 14 you end up with 2.5 unit areas now that's said to us one unit area is equivalent to 2.5 students now that being the case for this section which we have uh, 12 unit areas the number of students will be 12 times 2.5 and that's 30 students now in this area where we have 32 uh, unit areas, the number of students will be 32 times 2.5 and uh, that gives us a figure of 80 students. We already know the number of students in this section. Now this section presents a bit of a challenge here. Yeah? So um, over here we've got six, uh, below the green line we've got six unit areas there. And between the green lines, we have 60 of these small squares. Okay, and if we divide 60 by 2.5, that will give us 2. Point, sorry, if we divide 50 by 60 by 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 uh, 25, we end up with 2.4 unit areas in this uh, section there between the green lines. So altogether, for the 40 to 70 time interval, we got 8.4 unit areas. And if we multiply 8.4 by 2.5, we end up with uh, 21 students. So now all together now we have uh, 30 plus 80 plus 35 plus 21 students. That gives us a figure of 106 students there. Now the second method is, is to use the uh, frequency density method. We know that frequency density is if you divide the frequency by the time interval, that's the frequency density. So for this section here, from there to there, the frequency density is 3.5. Okay. And if you divide it into seven units, so to seven sections there, each section is 0.5. So that's one section there, 0 0.5. Okay. So now that will help us to find the frequency density for, for all four uh, intervals now. Right, so now we've got um, a frequency density uh, filled up. So we've got one, two, three, four, and that's the frequency density axis there. Okay, now note here that we've got 3.5 for the 35, for the zero, so for the 30 to 40 time interval there. So that's 3.5 there. Okay, now to check for this section here. If you multiply 3, which is frequency density, by 10, the time interval, you should get 30, which, confirm, which confirms what we already got. Now, in this section here, the frequency density is 4. If you multiply 4 by 20, you get 80. In this section, you already know. For this section here, if you multiply 0 0.7 by 30, you get 21 students there. So that confirms what you did, what you did using the first method. Okay, now moving on to subsection two, so, sorry, subsection B, and uh, it says that one of these students is to be chosen at random. 
calculate the probability that this student took more than 30 minutes to travel to school. Right. Now we're looking for the number of students between 30 and 70 there. The probability that a student if a student chosen will be will travel to school between 30 and 70 minutes there. And if we add 35 to 21, we end up with 56. If we now divide 56 by 156, sorry, 166, we get 0 0.337. And that's the probability that the student picks at random, we travel to we, we travel to school between 30 and 70 minutes there. Now moving on to third and final section. Now uh, on Tuesday, for this time interval 0 to 10, eight fewer students took less than 10 minutes to travel to school. So in effect, for this section here, yeah, on Tuesday, 22 students travel to school between 0 and 10 minutes on Tuesday. On Tuesday, there's no change in the number of students who travel to school between 10 and 30 minutes. On Tuesday, for this time interval of 30 to 40, three more students travel to school within this time interval. So we've now got uh, 38 there. For this time interval now, five fewer students travel to school in this time interval. So if we subtract 5 from 21, we get 16. Now if we add 22 to 18 to 38 to 16, we end up with 156 students. Okay. Um, and then it says, calculate the probability that this student took more than 30 minutes to travel to school. So, more than 30 minutes would be from there to there. And the number of students would be, on Tuesday would be, 38 plus 16, and that will give us uh, 54. So the probability that a child picked at random on Tuesday traveled to school between 30 and 70 minutes is going to be 54 divided by, by, by 156. That gives us a, probab a probability of 0 0.346. Now, I hope all that made some sense. Please, please subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.